We all learned about opposites when we were very young. The opposite of nice is mean. The opposite of up is down. And the opposite of black is white. We grew up learning to compare things and figure out an opposite. But rarely have we realized that the opposite of A might not be Z. Maybe the opposite of A is just not A. Frederick Hertzberg created the Motivation Hygiene Theory. He asked people what they liked about their work and what they didn't. From this he learned, there are factors that motivate and other factors that demotivate. But the absence of motivating factors does not cause demotivation. Got that? Basically, the opposite of motivation is not demotivation, it's no motivation. And the opposite of satisfaction is not dissatisfaction, but rather no satisfaction. For example, good working conditions won't necessarily motivate an employee, but bad working conditions will certainly demotivate them. So why is all of this opposite talk important? Because if we aren't careful, we will fight against organizational monsters that simply don't exist. For example, when a company has dissatisfied employees, they often try to satisfy them by motivating them. They spend their energy on programs and incentives, and too often their initiatives fail. Why? It's because they focused on the wrong opposite. Rather than trying to motivate them, they should remove or change the thing that demotivates them. Adding a motivational poster in a conference room won't change the reason they were demotivated in the first place. It only accentuates an unintentional duplicity. Wow, I, I have fancy words. Many years ago, if you asked, what is the opposite of Apple? You might have said Microsoft. And although Apple would have agreed with you, Steve Jobs would not have. You see, Apple thought that for Apple to win, it had to beat Microsoft or lose. When Steve Jobs came back as the interim CEO, he pointed out that this simply wasn't true. Rather, quote, Apple had to remember who Apple was because it had forgotten who Apple was. Apple was fighting an enemy that didn't exist, which is why they were losing at the time. To win over Microsoft was not success, it was just beating Microsoft. For Apple to be truly successful, they had to play at a new game and they had to make the rules. And boy, did they ever. So next time you're trying to change the behavior in someone else or yourself, make sure you focus on the right opposite. Because if you don't, you may be fighting a losing battle. Just because the second grade kickball team didn't include me, doesn't mean that they excluded me. They just didn't include me. Right? What? It, it still hurts. <laughs>